In this video, we're going to explore a river low course feature known as an estuary. So what type of exam questions could we be asked? We could be asked anything from the formation of this feature in terms of step by step to annotating and labeling photographs or diagrams. So let's get started with the formation of an estuary. First of all, what is an estuary? An estuary is a body of water that opens to an ocean or other body of salt water. It can also be known as the mouth of a river. It can be fed by one or multiple rivers. Let's think about how an estuary originally got there. So initially, estuaries were formed by rising sea levels. Once they were established and formed, they become what we call sediment traps for mud, sand, silt and shingle carried by the rivers, potentially rain and sand from the ocean floor. And this will allow the material to collect within the mouth of the river as the fresh water meets the salt water. This accumulates the sediment and over time, the sediment will build up. Step three in the formation of an estuary is where we have all or part of the water within this area where the river meets the sea or body of water being brackish, a mixture of fresh water and salt water. Step four in the formation is the size of the estuary. The size is dependent on the size of the river or the rivers that are feeding it, but estuaries can range from miles to hundreds of miles in length and width. Step five in the formation of an estuary concerns the water. So when the sea retreats or moves back out into the ocean, the volume of water in the estuary is reduced. When there is less water, the river will deposit silt to form mudflats, which grow and establish an important habitat for wildlife. And if we were thinking about labeling photographs of estuaries, Particular characteristics potentially the examiner could be looking for is for you to identify the, the river. In this case, it is in the background. You could even go as far to say the river mouth. Um, they might want you to establish your understanding of the coastline. So you might want to indicate the sea or salt water, perhaps. We have also got evidence of deposition. So sand and mud and silt being obviously deposited due to low tide, creating these small islands of sand. We also have got low tide in the background, in the mouth of the river, where obviously the tide is not as far in. And we also have a small area where we can see some establishment of mud flats starting to form.